Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Energy transfers earnings fall short, Blue Owl Capital outperforms and plans a merger, Warner Brothers Discovery faces revenue decline, Rivian expands electric van sales beyond Amazon, Dutch Brothers stumbles on revenue guidance miss, Walgreens Boots considers selling Village MD stake, and Energy Transfer boosts profit forecast after strong Q2. Stay tuned after the short ad break to learn more. Energy Transfer reported second quarter earnings per share of 35 cents, missing estimates by one cent revenue reached $20.73 billion, up 13.2% year over year, but fell short by $770 million. Distributable cash flow for partners increased to $2.4 billion from last year's $1.55 billion, a rise of $485 million. Blue All Capital Corporation reported second quarter net investment income per share of 48 cents, beating Wall Street estimates by a penny. The company announced a merger with Blue All Capital Corporation 3, expected to save over $5 million in expenses in the first year. Logan Nicholson was named president, while Craig W. Packer remained CEO. Blue Owl Capital reported second quarter net investment income of 48 cents per share, meeting expectations. The company boasts a 10% yield and record net asset value. Stay tuned for their next earnings report coming next week. Warner Brothers Discovery stock fell 7% after hours as second quarter earnings missed expectations. Revenue dropped 6% to $9.71 billion, and net loss widened to $9.99 billion due to a goodwill impairment and other accounting effects. Streaming subscribers rose to $103.3 million, but free cash flow declined by 43%. Rivian Automotive stock, listed on the NASDAQ as RIVN, reduced its post-earnings loss from 10% to 2.2%. Despite ongoing losses per vehicle, management remains optimistic about future profitability. Analysts maintain a positive outlook due to strategic partnerships and strong liquidity. Rivian plans further electric delivery van expansions beyond Amazon. Warner Brothers Discovery is under scrutiny as Congress urges the Department of Justice to investigate its joint venture with Fox and Disney for a potential sports broadcast monopoly. Analysts are debating whether to break up the company, while others suggest selling unless a transaction is expected or patience prevails. A preview of Q2 2024 earnings is upcoming. Dutch Brothers experienced a 22.2% decline in post-market trading after full-year guidance aligned with analyst expectations. Q2 revenue increased by 30% year-over-year, with earnings per share at $0.19, cents, surpassing estimates. The company opened 36 new shops and expanded mobile ordering to approximately 200 locations by the end of July. Walgreens Boots Alliance is considering selling all or part of its stake in Village MD because the primary care provider needs significant cash. The company is exploring restructuring and strategic options. Walgreens shares have hit a 52-week low, down 59% year-to-date. They are also negotiating with stakeholders about the future of their investment. Energy Transfer saw a 1.8% post-market rise after reporting in-line Q2 earnings and raising its full-year profit guidance. Net income rose to $1.31 billion, or $0.35 cents per unit, from $911 million, or $0.25 cents per share, last year. Adjusted EBITDA increased to $3.76 billion from $3.12 billion. Distributable cash flow jumped to $2.4 billion from $1.55 billion. The company reported record high crude oil transportation volumes of approximately 6.5 million barrels per day, up 22%, and natural gas liquids volumes rose 4% to about 2.2 million barrels per day. Full-year adjusted EBITDA is now forecasted at up to $15.5 billion due to new projects and acquisitions like WTG Midstream. Analyst Richard Mance noted the significant jump in distributable cash flow and improved finances with debt rating upgrades and preferred stock redemption efforts benefiting common unit holders. Thank you for tuning into the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay ahead. Join us next time for more insights and updates. Goodbye.
I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. It's time for us to say goodbye until we see each other again tomorrow. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.